What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to be unboxing the brand new iPhone 16 and 16 Plus in every color offered by Apple. So we have the white, the black, the pink, the teal, and ultramarine. So we're going to compare these colors to each other and also to past iPhones to give you a better idea as to how these colors look. And of course we'll be going through the software as well and the whole setup process to see what's new with the iPhone 16 this year. So let's start with a color that never goes out of style black and you can see just from the box that we do have the new stacked camera design so we'll talk more about that and why that's significant in a little bit now as far as on the back we do have the same peel tabs right here so let's go ahead and get started with black now as far as pricing goes we do have the same prices as the iPhone 15s last year so no increase in price which is great to see however we still start at 128 gigabytes of storage now this black looks good I mean it's kind of like a textured you know back here and it's not really a pure black like we saw with maybe the iPhone 12 where we had that pure black so you can kind of see the difference between these two shades here of course different you know materials on the back but you can see the difference there it's more of like a graphite I would say than a pure black but it definitely looks good especially the borders and around that camera bump and man these cameras are huge so I don't know if it's just because they're vertically stacking now but let me compare this to the iPhone 15 camera so you can see the iPhone 15 cameras here on the green and we'll compare this green to the teal in a second but take a look at the size of those cameras on the 16. and if you were let down by last year's you know kind of washed out pastel colors this year is like the complete opposite we have such saturated colors this year which look great so you'll see that more with the teal the ultramarine and the pink but anyways yeah here is the black you can see the front side here let's go ahead and peel this off very sleek I mean you can really never go wrong with the black and here's my first impression of the camera control button on the side so it's very flush to the body which is nice you can feel the texture difference when you run your finger over it but it's not something that really like sticks out and you can feel the click there as well you can hear it as well and then also in the box we have our braided USB-C to USB-C cable very nice and this is a new layout by the way as well it's different from the iPhone 15 and you can see we have our mini pamphlet here also in a new design and you'll notice that we have no apple stickers so yes for the first time in a long time there are no apple stickers inside of the iphone box you can still get them if you ask at the apple store but it does not come by default with the apple stickers in the box that's part of apple's you know plan to go full carbon neutral by 2030 and by the way we do have the same at 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch displays on the iphone 16 and 16 plus the pros were the only ones who saw an increase in display size this year so same size same OLED screen same 60 Hertz so you're not really getting any major improvements in terms of the display if you go from the 15 to the 16 you can see we do have those bezels around the edge as well it's not quite edge to edge or as close to edge to edge as the pros are but the colors are much better so we need to get more into these colors so next up let's go with let's do ultramarine this is probably going to be one of the most popular colors this year if not the most popular color and I don't blame you if you choose ultramarine because just from the box it looks stunning you can see the matching iPhone on the side in that same color it's kind of like a bluish purple mix and yeah I just think I'm gonna really like this color so let's go ahead and see what it's all about pull off our peel tabs here as always so here is the ultra marine which is also a very unique name Apple doesn't generally oh man okay that just hit me like a ton of bricks in mid-sentence I had to stop because wow this color looks good okay I didn't expect this to look this good I thought the teal was going to be my favorite but it has some stiff competition now because this looks incredible I think it's the cameras this this color around the cameras that's what's really like setting this phone off this looks stunning man this color just pops it definitely has more of a purple tone than I expected this box doesn't really do it justice justice at all because you can see it doesn't really have the purple on the box this around you know the border here around the cameras that definitely has more of a purple hue to it and I think that's going to look really good especially even in low light or in the shade if you're outside this is just really going to pop and you can see the borders there let's compare this to another blue iPhone so we have this blue iPhone right here so this is 
the, I believe this is the 13. No, this is the 14 plus in blue. So you can see kind of how these two shades of blue look next to each other. So definitely a lot more contrast with the 16 and just a whole different shade. And look how dull the Sierra blue looks here. So we have the Sierra blue pro max right here. And that just looks so dull next to this phone. So I'm a fan of this phone, man. I did not expect it to, to like it as much as I do. Like I knew it was going to be popular. I knew I would like it, but in my head, I was just leaning teal the whole time. But man, this looks stunning. You can see the sides there. The borders look amazing. The top, the other side, let's go ahead and peel this off and boot this up because I want to see how this looks with the screen on as well. That blue just really hits you as well. Even when you're looking at the screen here, you could just see the borders from this phone. And that's why I always say, like people always say, you can't see the colors if you put a case on, but you can. You can see the camera bump on the outside and you can also see the little borders when you're looking at the display. So a case does not fully ruin the experience of the color. And once again, we do have those vertical stacking cameras, which the main purpose for that is not just for the design sake, it's also because we can shoot spatial videos and photos now because these cameras are stacked. And something else you'll notice pretty quickly after unboxing your iPhone 16 is that you have the action button. So this was an exclusive to the pros last year, but now all the iPhone 16s get the action button and the camera control button. So it's pretty rare for Apple to put the same hardware buttons on both the pros and the regular models, but we see that this year with these two buttons. And I can already tell you that this camera control button is going to be fine. It's going to be useful for those that are right-handed, but for those that are left-handed, this is going to be quite a struggle. You're going to have to use your bottom left thumb to maneuver that. And it's just not going to be right. I don't know as this is definitely meant more for those that are right handed. So just keep that in mind as well. Anyways, same things in the box, nothing exciting in the box this year, especially if you already have a cable. And by the way, both the iPhone 16 and the 16 plus do have the ceramic shield display that is 50% stronger than last year. So it's the same display as in the pros. It's just a little bit stronger than last year. We'll see how that actually holds up in durability tests, but it is something that Apple mentioned. Now, something else Apple mentioned is the new MagSafe and the wireless charging speeds that the iPhone 16 gets now. And this is very impressive because we now have 25 watt MagSafe charging. So you can now charge the iPhone 16 pretty much faster wirelessly than you can wired, which is wild. So basically, if you have an iPhone 16 or 16 plus or even a pro or pro max, you're going to need a case for that phone, but not just to protect the ceramic shield display and everything else, because it probably still won't hold up in a drop test, but you'll also need a case that's going to allow you to get that full 25 watts via MagSafe. And luckily today, our sponsor ESR has you covered in both areas. So ESR's iPhone 16 case lineup will not only offer great drop protection, but they'll also ensure you get the fastest MagSafe charging speeds possible while in a case. And that's because we have this strong magnet inside of the case itself. And ESR's own testing showed that charging an iPhone 15 Pro Max in these cases is at least 30 minutes faster when MagSafe charging compared to other cases. That's pretty wild. So they have three different options to choose from. So they have the hybrid case, which is your classic slim and simple clear case. They have the cloud soft, which is a high quality liquid silicone case with tough edges and a microfiber lining. And then we have the ultra protective cyber tough case, which I mean, just look at it. That's all you need to know. It will withstand up to 23 foot drops, but even the other cases are great for drop protection as well. So the cloud soft and the hybrid cases are rated up to 11 feet for drop protection and even for minor drops even less than that i mean they have these little shock absorbing air guard corners and they also have a slightly raised edge on the screen so your phone's not going to really hit the ground you know face first if it falls on the concrete which is great and of course this kickstand that serves as a camera guard as well for drops so if you have an iphone 16 or even a 16 pro check out esr's new case lineup they do also have a new tempered screen protector as well to protect your display but anyways all those links will be down in the description below okay so back to the unboxing let's talk about the teal color so this is the one i thought was going to be my favorite over the ultramarine but after seeing ultramarine i'm not so sure now so let's go ahead and see we do have the color matching iphone on the side as usual let's go ahead and peel these tabs oh man okay so yeah this is much more subtle this is definitely more subtle than the ultramarine and i can already tell you i think i might like ultramarine better and you know for the past couple weeks i've been really rooting for the teal but i mean teal looks great don't get me wrong it looks great but it's just not 
anything compared to this ultramarine and i'm not even a blue fan either but let's take a look at how this compares to the green iphone 15 so here's a look at the teal versus the green iphone 15 and this really just shows you the increase and the improvement in saturation this year with the colors from apple so especially around the camera bump itself you can just see a really deep color on all of the iphone 16s whereas it was a little bit deeper on the iphone 15s but not quite what we see on the 16s so that's why i really noticed the difference and plus these cameras just pop and again because they are vertically stacking they also just appear larger to our eyes like they are a little bit larger but they just even look much bigger in person just because of the way they are on the back of the phone and you can see how the camera does protrude a little bit further on the 16 as well compared to the iphone 15 now we do have a 48 megapixel fusion camera that's our main camera on the iphone 16 this year and it has the same you know 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with an f 2.2 aperture however it does have autofocus which means that we will be able to shoot macro shots on the base model iphone 16 now which is a big deal i use macro shots all the time on my pro so it's nice to see the base models get that feature and it's hard to tell from just looking at these phones but there is also an anti-reflective coating on the camera itself like on the camera housing here so apple calls it an anti-reflective lens coating on the fusion camera and that's meant to reduce lens glare let's go ahead and peel this off and yeah this one just doesn't hit as much as the ultramarine does even on the front like when you look at these screens it just doesn't pop out at you like this phone does this phone almost like glows even under studio lights so that's why i said in low light it will look good as well but let's move on okay so now we have the plus models these are the 6.7 inch models with the bigger batteries compared to the regular 16. so we're going to start with the pink color and i do have the 15 plus and pink as well that we will be comparing this to so the box obviously a lot larger because we do have a bigger display here so you can see the pink matching on the box as well definitely a more hot pink than what we saw last year so let's go and take a look at how this looks in person and oh man this one hits you too this one will hit you right away just like the ultramarine it's definitely a big difference from the 15 which is not really saying much so here's the 15 plus on the right and yeah i mean really anything would have been an increase in contrast compared to the 15 because it was just such a washed out color on the 15 that the 16 really anything they did anything they decided to do with it would look better so you can kind of see how these look on the edges as well and once again the darker shade in that camera housing really makes a difference when you look at the back of these phones and that's also going to stand out a lot when it's in a case so i feel like this year more than you know most years you will be able to tell the color of your iphone 16 at least the regular 16 and 16 plus even if you have a case over top of it anyways let's go and take this off and yeah this one hits you too so this one just like the ultramarine even on the front here the little border you see on the outside is very noticeable and then finally we have white another color that you really can never go wrong with but it's pretty boring this year honestly but you can never go wrong with white so let's go ahead and take these peel tabs off let's see if this is any different from the previous whites and man this is a, a very pure white so previous years we have had kind of an off-white color a kind of off-white shade but this one is more of a pure white and you can probably tell because even when i put it in this different lighting it's hard to tell you know a difference here so this is a very pure white i actually really like this it's much cleaner than i expected it to be i don't like it as much as the others just because i like having color if you're going to get you know a base model i feel like you have to get some color with it otherwise just go with the pro but uh yeah you can see the borders i have more of a gray tone kind of like a silver tone on on the borders but on the back i mean this is the only one where you can't really tell a difference with the color on the camera housing right there so it's pretty much the same color as the body and i am looking forward to the battery life on these phones as well because we do actually have bigger batteries in the iphone 16 lineup this year and the 16 plus so we are going to see better battery life than the iphone 15s so Apple did say that we're going to get at least two additional hours of battery life over the 15 and 15 plus when watching or streaming a video, but the audio playback remains the same at 100 hours. So here's your look at all of the iPhone 16 colors, and I'm going to have a tough time ranking these. So we're going to start from worst to best. 
So I would say that the least favorite of me personally, obviously everybody is going to have a different opinion here, but I think my least favorite is going to have to be white just for the fact that, I mean, it's clean, it looks good, but I feel like if you're getting an iPhone 16, you need to get some color. So with that being said, I would say that my second least favorite is going to be the black for the same reason. And then I would say pink. And then we're going to say, man, it's, it's definitely between these two. My, so my top favorite color for the iPhone 16 is absolutely between the ultramarine and the teal so it's really hard to choose from and this is really going to be personal preference but i'm going to say ultramarine is my favorite teal is going to be my second favorite color so if you guys got either one of these let me know in a comment down below and let me know which color is your favorite from the iphone 16 lineup But before we go, I do want to show you how the camera control button works on the side. So we're going to go ahead and go through the setup process very quickly. I will have a full setup guide video. So if you want to know every detail on how to set up your iPhone 16 right and transfer all your data, go ahead and check that out. It's up in the cards right now. We're going to press in right here and you can see that we do have this pop up right away. So it does tell us about the photographic styles because this has also been renewed and you can see the little icon up here in the top left. I just want to see how this works here. So you just kind of slide your finger over across over top of this button. So you don't have to actually press in on the button. I'm just using my finger and just kind of swiping from left to right and that will adjust the zoom. Now you can press in. So if you press in right there, it will take the picture. And if you press and hold, it will take a video kind of like a quick take video until you let go. So that's a nice little tip there. And if you double tap on the camera control button, so if you use a little bit of pressure, you will be able to change what this button does. So you can see that we have the depth control, we have our zoom, you have the cameras changing, photographic styles, and also tone. So you can change all of those from here. That will just change the quick action, kind of like you can for the uh, control or the uh, action button, where you can change that to do something different. So if you have that set to tone, you can see you can just slide, swipe over now to adjust the tone. And you'll notice that this menu can also be accessed and pressed using your fingers. So if you double press in right there, and I select right here, you can see I can use my finger as well. You don't have to always use that button. You will definitely have to get used to it a little bit as far as the pressure goes and how to you know, trigger it, but it's pretty cool. Like I, I will say, it's hard to say how much I'll actually use it until I'm actually out in the real world, but it seems pretty awesome. And here's what you'll see for macro control. So macro control is on by default, but you can deselect it by pressing this little flower in at the bottom right-hand corner. Actually, it's gonna be on the bottom left-hand corner if you have this in portrait mode. So if you want to take a portrait shot, you just have to have that enabled, which it is by default. But if you don't want that for some reason, it will turn off the autofocus and then you cannot take those close up macro shots. So I'm really curious to see how the performance and how the battery life is going to be on the iPhone 16s. And I will be exploring that with you guys. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more about the iPhone 16. But that was a first look at all of the colors this year for the iPhone 16s. Again, let me know what your favorite is down in the comments below and I'll see you soon.